right, guys. Uh, we're uh, getting started with this match right now. It's Wayne Pullen versus Jerry Match in here. <sighs> Race to three here, playing one pocket. And this is the first match of the um, final eight players. We got also Ernesto Dominguez currently playing Ross Fegroso. So Ross is in the top eight? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Ross is in the money. I did not know. Yeah, he owes you dinner now. <laughs> uh, Santo Sambajon is waiting to play the winner of uh, One Pocket Rich versus uh, Jose Perica. Uh, but right now, we're going to get started with this match. It's supposed to be this a very good match. match. Wayne is definitely one of the few favorites here. See, now, I don't, I don't know. Is that a good break? Yeah, that's a good bake. break. He puts balls um, towards his table, towards his hole, and he also blocks Jerry with the from, stack. from knocking them out with the stack. And so that's pretty much what you want to do. You also want to avoid bringing any uh, balls towards your opponent's pocket, which, you know... So it's a decent Wayne break. Has done a it's a decent good break, job or or is it? I mean, is this like? No, that's a good break. Look, if you look, which, that's what you want. That's you can what. generally judge a good break by uh, how long it takes for your opponent to go down on the shot <laughs> afterwards. And Jerry's already like wondering uh, what he's. This guy do thinks this, he really believes that I, I'm I'm trying to. to play dumb because I... Uh, oh, you're, you're you're fishing? Yeah, but y you really don't understand how much I... I now, that was a good Don't kick. love one pocket. <laughs> I avoid it like the plague normally. Mm -hmm. This was... Now, see, this was a really good escape. Uh, you know, Jerry, Jerry uh, effectively takes one of the balls out of the equation and... Um, puts Wayne behind the stack again. So this is the kind of a match we're going to see here. Oh, Wayne. I think Wayne. it's a little bit slower than he expected. Yeah, Wayne touched the 11 ball with his cue there, but no, no mention of it from either player. Oh. Oh, digging through my purse, looking for my phone. It's in my pocket. No personal phone calls, though. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, gosh. So Wait, he's going to bank it. He's going to bank it, right? That's what uh, he's gonna let me do. look at the table here. Is he going to bank this? He's got to bank it. I don't know what he's going to get afterwards. Yeah, but, but he's got he's to hit this real slow. Yeah. So and then. I've noticed this, though. I've been watching on this table. They seem to be banking short a lot. Well, actually, the, I was just going to say, the way he banked it, he don't, wasn't really going for that shot. He just wants to do basically what I had, had explained. He wants to bring the ball close to his pocket and then leave him stuck behind the, the stack. Which puts pressure on Wayne to do something and promotes a possible mistake, mm -hmm. which is what basically Jerry is waiting for and what Wayne is also waiting for. I don't have the patience for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's okay. Um, you know, patience is something you develop after. Because I, I played this for many years and had no patience for it either. Especially when you're reaching in your wallet, <laughs> paying for the game you just played. <laughs> All right, so what's Jerry going to do here? Looks like he's going to kind of cut the 14 back toward the 8 and mm -hmm. maybe just try and put the cue ball on the rail but below or the 11. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good call. That's what he's doing. He, he's playing the cue ball more than anything. Right. And there's a takeout. Nice job. Mm-hmm. Now what? Now what? Okay, so I'm going to say he's not going to bank the 8 here, which is what I would do, because he would sell out the 11. 
Yes, but kudos to you for knowing <laughs> that you would sell something out by shooting that shot. <laughs> Um, but I mean, if he kind of shot it with the speed where he left like Wayne almost straight in and like on the rail, okay. and he laid the eight ball in the pocket, he, Wayne might not go for that ball, right? Okay, that that's actually a very good observation. If you leave Wayne straight on the eleven, like dead straight, and and on the on that end rail down there, right? The there's basically no reward in shooting that right. eleven ball. He's got to go for the twelve after that. You see, oh. but he doesn't want to leave the twelve. Well, it looks like Jerry's going to try and do something with that 12 ball right now. Uh, well, he kind of has no choice because basically that 12 ball is in Wayne's favor. So he wants it out of there. And he banged it into the stack but didn't really move anything. Oh, no. He did a lot of good things here. Okay. Well, he moved some balls to his side of the table. That's, that's, that is so important, though. But not toward his home. But that it doesn't matter. It is so important <laughs> to keep the balls coming to your side of the table. Okay. And then event and then also hold the cue ball. Looks the first game, Ross. By the way, Ross and Ernesto are playing that first game, and they're down to one ball. Okay, so so that's good news. In a hurry. Someone's got bills to pay. <laughs> And Ross just sold out a bank. Oh, actually, maybe not. He got it pretty close to his hole. So. No, I was just, I was actually being happy for Ross because getting down to one ball is like, it's like a hill-hill game, right? It's like, except he just lost that game. <laughs> I told you he sold out a bank. But anyway. Um, right, that means he's doing well, I guess. Okay, yeah, no, it's true. He's not He's not getting slaughtered. <laughs> um, I think Ernesto came with a great bank right there. Yeah. Ah, oh, so, diamonds reward the better player. Brunswick's are a little bit more forgiving. I actually agree with that. I love diamond tables. Although I'm a big fan as well of the Brunswick, the gold crown five, mm -hmm. with like the flush pockets. I love that table You too. like those fives? Yeah. Hmm. No. I don't think I've played on them enough to really be, to have a, to, you know, to really like favor them. We played on the them on tour. Twos and the threes. The fives. We played on fives. Uh, on which tour? Uh, in the WPBA. We played on the Gold Crown fives. When? For a long time. Oh, long time ago. Long time. But uh, they switched to the diamonds maybe two, three years ago. I think actually about two years ago. Yeah. So. I'm expecting an email. I'm wondering if that's it. No. Uh, just uh, a shout out to Hate Monkey in the chat room. I still need your address, so we have to get it somehow. <laughs> I gave away a Kamui tip today. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. 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 I have yet to uh, don't have his info. hit a ball with a Kamui tip. I'm kind of a creature of habit. I'm quite quite comfortable with my with my tiger equipment, and I don't really see any reason to monkey around with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I've hit with tigers as well. They're good tips. Okay, so now he's banking the eight. Again, to make it or just kind of leave it closed? Oh, he made it. Nice shot. He would have sold out the 11, though. Exactly. Um, but I guess it's it was a, a risk he was willing to take. Well, he probably didn't think the cue ball was going to make it all the way up there like that. Well, he's playing. you got to remember, he's playing cue ball. Maybe it was an unforced error, yes. Maybe he thought he was going to feather the 11. Um... But nonetheless, uh, Jerry draws first blood here. Is that the first ball down? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Melissa, if you, <laughs> like, I do not take it personally. If you want to get up, stretch your legs. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Completely quit your job right now. I do not, <laughs> I do not take it personally. Okay? All you one-pocket fans out there, I... Uh 
I love God. God love you. They need somebody. Perico needs somebody to watch ahead over here. Interesting. And okay, see, Jerry played. That was a pretty good, wise shot. He played the eleven to try to play it kind of off the stack. Off the stack. But slowly, he didn't want to drive balls to Wayne's side of the table. Nice. And you know what? This is this is gonna be a good match because they're both smart. I know this about Wayne. I don't know much about one pocket, but I know that he's a smart player. Well, I can tell right away that uh, Jerry is not going to give this up to anybody. He's, he's going to play tight, tight, tight? Yeah, he's, he's playing, well, not necessarily tight, 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 but good. He's going to yeah. play well. Jerry's a good player. I'm seeing that right away. I haven't had the chance to see him shoot. I think that was uh, a good shot by Wayne, though. He took the, like, the two balls out of Jerry's area and has kind of left him... I think, I mean, Jerry could probably get these both out, but I don't know what I'm saying. This is so funny. It's, it's like, no, it's it's cool. I mean, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of, like, explaining basketball to my, like, you know, my, my, wow, my you pick, fifth girlfriend. Wow, you picked the one other thing that I can't stand in life, no, basketball. I have a joke whenever I hear guys talking about sports, depending on the sport. Mm -hmm. I'll always go up to them and go, is that the big oval round ball, the brown one? You know? <laughs> Or is that the game on ice with sticks? I, I love sports. I just don't like basketball. I don't really watch any of them. I mean, my in my home, the, it's always on the Golf Channel or Fox Sports West, so we can watch the Angels game. Mm -hmm. We watch a lot of tennis. We, uh, we, we, we watch a lot of sports. I like golf and tennis. Uh, but I never really was much of a football, basketball, or baseball fan. I grew up watching football, but it seems a little different to me now. I don't know. I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. How's Tiger doing? Not as well today as he should have. I think he's five back from the lead right now. Tiger he's, didn't do well today. No. He shot a uh, five over round. He started at one under. He's four over. Okay, that was a great shot. No rail, though. Okay, so... Uh, Spanky, he shot five over today. He started out one under. And he's at four He's at four over now, isn't he? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. So what do you think? Do you think that they should have made this a single elimination or a double elimination made it a two-day tournament? Yes. <laughs> you think they should have made it a no. double? Uh, basically, that's my way of saying I really have no opinion. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I gotta tell you, the, the show, the turnout was good considering it's a single. Yeah, well, the interview was not that, uh, you know, it was, it was reasonable. So that's Here's nice. Here's the thing. You make this a two-day tournament and people are going to say, oh, they should make the prize fund bigger. Yeah, that's true. Do you, you have a good mean? point. It goes both ways. You have a good point. You know. I'm really happy for this turnout. Somebody just said something about Father's Day. I, you, you clicked away from it, but said that they would have done it two days if it wasn't for Father's Day. You're kidding me, right, Spanky? Like, pool players don't go to the pool room on holidays. I myself have spent many a Christmas Day, Thanksgiving, yeah, right. Halloween, Valentine's Day, all of those, dead in the pool room. Yeah. I can, I mean, wait a minute, didn't we do something this, uh, not you and I, but like, weren't we doing something this, wait a minute, the first tour stop was February, wasn't that Valentine's Day? No, it was uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day weekend. Yep. Well, those two just kind of go together, drinking and pool, right? Yeah. Speaking <laughs> of which, can I get you anything? Uh, I have a water, I'm good, thanks. Okay. The least I can do for your, uh... <laughs> For my service? Yeah, for your service. All right. yeah. Wayne's got a ball hanging over here. Not hanging, but definitely okay, good in so the pocket. This, this is what I was just about to tell you here. Wayne just took a scratch, right? Mm -hmm. He played that combo 7-6 to bring it closer to his hole, and he took a scratch. Because he didn't Although hit a rail. he takes a scratch, look at how much trouble he puts Jerry in. Mm -hmm. Because he hides him behind the stack, and... But where Jerry has left him now, he can make one ball, but he's going to run into those balls and push the balls toward Jerry's hole. Absolutely, and this is what makes both of these guys such great chess players right now. Well, he's going he's gonna to try and draw it right now, and he's going to try and draw over into the two so that he can shoot the 12. 
this. Wow. This is what he did. You know, I've known Wayne a long time, and it was actually kind of funny. He used to not be able to draw a ball. No kidding. Played everything with Balo. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Well, that was a good shot. Oh, Jerry did not want to hit that. I mean, uh, Wayne, Wayne didn't want to hit that. He wanted to come above the seven because the seven had room to go into the corner. Now it can't. But at least he kind of popped out above the rack so that if he wants to, he can now take some of Jerry's balls away, right? No, he, he wanted to miss that seven completely. No, but I'm saying at least he didn't get stuck behind the pack. There's always yeah, a silver yeah. lining there, there is there. right? Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen, I'm tr I'm trying here. Wow, you got I'm that. Trying. You got that kind of motherly outlook. There, right? <laughs> Do you have kids? Negative. Oh, good. Okay. No, no, no. I am a big kid myself. Hi, Edgar. How are you? Oh, that's right, Edgar Salazar. By the way, saying hello. Uh, good times billiards. Yeah, Edgar. of course. I spent many, many years in that pool room. Players two is what they called it for a back while. Back in the day, when, back in uh, the day, when Farrell still in it. Oh, he can yeah. still make the seven. Yeah, well, Kusha, Kusha. I, I'm I'm at such an angle that I can't I can't totally see that he has you know that he had clearance there. What's he going to play in, oh, he position for? Okay, I was going to say, what's he playing position for? But I guess it's the 14. He says he's getting drunk guys. Getting drunk guys from where? And taking them where? <laughs> oh, fun with grammar. Okay, he missed that ball. But... Well, yeah, but he's playing cue ball right. all the way. See, Wayne is just going to play cue ball all the way. And so is Jerry, actually, you know. Um, but Jerry, you know, like, Jerry played the right shot. He, he left distance, and he tried to set it up so that he could only shoot a straight shot. And you called it, too. But Wayne was able to uh, create an opportunity out of that. He made, uh, he made three balls. I'm smelling food, Melissa. It smells like french fries. Oh, I don't think he meant to do that. He basically just pocketed the ball up table, but I don't think he meant to do that, I think. Uh, no, I there's think a chance he, he might have. Really? Why? Because it spots up and he sells right out. Oh, you're right then. I think then, I think he tried to do that two rail bank where, like, maybe at the side pocket and then it hits the end rail and comes back down this way. Oh, I, I, yeah. I was too busy updating the scoreboard, which I'm going to have to do again now. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait. It might be over. Wayne has more than four, doesn't he? Oh, no. Okay. I guess I should have counted the balls on the table. Actually, they've got... Uh, wow, that was a good uh, triple combo there. They've got two trays... Yeah, I see them. That's okay, why I said I had, to, okay. I had to pop up there. That's why I said I could have just counted the balls on the table, knowing Jerry only has one. Oh, right. Done the math. I am Asian. Are you? Yes. Well, half. So I can do simple math. <laughs> where, where, uh, which country? My mother is Japanese. Okay. Yeah, I had no idea. Five ball, looking like it needs a home. Ah! And but now, does Jerry give him this ball and just leave it there, probably. or does he swing it as whole? Well, see, here's the thing: he can't swing it as whole. He'll sell out everything. Well, Wayne needs. Jerry actually Wayne needs three made balls. this point to me earlier. See, the score right now is six-one, and normally, what you would want to do is five-one. Oh, sorry, five-one. Normally what you would want to do is you would want to make this five and follow the cue ball in and mm -hmm. take a scratch because you'd want to keep the, the ball count low. But then he has to put back his one. Oh. 
Right, he does. But that's okay. You keep the score count low so okay. that instead of Wayne only needing one ball, he still needs two or right. three. I'm sorry. I uh, I usually only see people do that uh, when it's when both players are going for one ball. Then they'll try and no, make it and follow no, it in. No, not always. Not always. When the ball count's already really high, All right, that's let's see the what kind he's going to do. No, see, do. he's just making it for him. Well, he couldn't make. He couldn't follow because the angle at which the uh, shot was okay. really couldn't follow in. So. All right. All right. All right. All right. So it's now, now it's going to be seven. No. Now it's six. Oh, six one. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I could do simple math. So All glad right. I have a girl doing math here. <laughs> Uh, about that, I wonder if they can hear us. Like, I try not to be loud. Oh, like, are we sharking them? Yeah, well, I don't feel like we're sharking them. No, but and if there's anything I know about Wayne, he would get up and tell us, actually. he's <laughs> I've seen him do it before. Not to me, but to other yeah. people. So he's or, uh, looking at the one. stack to see if maybe there's an automatic, like a or something that's going to put him close, right? Well, yeah, he could also be looking at the dangers. Uh, maybe uh, if there's anything of directly, it there. okay? Because you know he might be leaving Wayne something, uh, and so he's he's thinking about, okay, how can I rearrange the stack in my favor? Well, that's smart. And also play a good cue ball here, which that was a that was a good shot, but I think. I think Jerry probably wanted to bring the cue ball. But doesn't have Wayne? Doesn't Wayne have like a? I mean, I'm just asking. But he's got a free bank on the eleven here, doesn't he? Yeah, he does actually. Um, I mean, Jerry he does have a free bank. He does, and he banks at good speed. This I know about Wayne. He banks long rail at good speed. I think he's going to bank the one actually back into the. Uh, Two, two and thirteen here. Yeah, because it gives it gives Wayne an opportunity he to lose the cue ball. ball real he lost tough. his cue ball. He lost I his cue ball. I think it's going to stay on table. Wow! It drifted right into the corner. Of the, speed. He that drifted, was, but it kind of turned. It was going straight at the pocket. Kind of turned yeah. and hugged the uh, inside of that pocket. Yeah, I, I think it rolled it rolled against the nap of the cloth or something. You know. Interesting. And this is this is going to be tough, uh, but I guys, I still, it's not over for Jerry because one mistake, absolutely. And uh, you know he could give up three or four balls. Wayne could give up three or four balls. Hey Marshall, how you doing? Marshall, uh, an big Marshall jumping in the chat room. Who I still owe. Kit Kat too? Is it a Kit Kat? No. Some kind of chocolate. Okay, you're still talking about food. <laughs> Hershey's. Hershey's. All right, so now he's going to take the free bank at the 11 here. Probably not. Well, you might be right. Marshall might. Yeah, I mean, this is what not did I only just a free say? bank. This is perfectly He drained executed. it and came over here with the cue ball. Wow. Wowzers. Well, he doesn't have much here. Um, Wayne's probably very happy about that. Still, what a great bank. But he's going to just kind of push everything toward his hole right now. Right? No, it's really, like I said, he's playing... He, He's happy to leave one or two balls closer to the hole and just play, keep playing the yeah. cue ball like he's doing. So now Wayne can only hit the two. He's got to send it up table, and we'll see. Does he try and does he try and like thin the two ball and bring it the cue ball back down on this side on 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 Jerry's side of the table? He does. He tries to bring it back down this way so that Jerry can't cut the thirteen in. Okay, see, good shot, Wayne. Hey, I'm learning this game. I would never, ever, ever be able to execute it, though. <laughs> I would hit everything so hard. Oh. I think you're just trying to suck me into some kind of a game. I'm not trying to sucker you into any kind of game. <laughs> you could pay me $50 and I'm not going to play you one pocket. Let me tell you that. 
<laughs> I'm not paying you fifty dollars. <laughs> okay, I don't have it. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, you know, you, you, somebody could pay me to play with them, and I'm not going to do it. It's just like I just right can't. On. Right on. I can't fade it. Oh, thanks, Marshall. Thank you, Marshall. Yeah, you did. You did no, well. who did you I get don't want to hear it. I don't want to get through. It just it hurts me so bad that I missed the TV round by one rack. I'd, I'd rather get beat it's nine okay. nothing. It hurts me. It's like a pain right in my gut. Yeah, but Melissa, you know you haven't been you haven't shown up to those for a couple years now, right? I know, and I'm still a scary beast. So, uh oh. Oh, you didn't want that. You did not want that. That's gonna cost him the rack, I think. Well. There's no balls up table. It's kind of weird for Wayne to shoot. Like, we well, needs two, and really, it's a matter of making the eleven. Yeah, he can make the eleven, or even the nine. The remaining matches: the fourth ball behind the line rule will be applied. The fourth ball behind the line will be spotted. Ball closest to the end rail. What is he? Okay, swing and a miss here. All right, so the um, the rule uh, announcement has just been made. Um, okay, there's a three foul rule here, uh, but also there's not going to be a lot of up table games because any fourth ball mm -hmm. that is closest to the head string, mm -hmm. that is past the head string, mm -hmm. I think it's is it closest to the rail or closest to the head string? closest to the head string within the behind the kitchen any fourth ball that's behind the mm -hmm. kitchen will automatically be spotted to the head spot and that's because these matches are taking too long today oh my god that's a brutal rule to, to I mean I don't know much but it, it doesn't seem like you can change the rules right in the middle of the game no it's been it's been it's been understood here at this event that uh, you know that that, that that rule may apply depending on the wow the time here is that typical in one pocket matches no, it's that? it's not extremely typical. Actually, I don't know the history behind this rule, but it's actually it's it says actually using a, the hard times rule. Yeah, so. it's a Cali rule. It's a so, it's a SoCal rule that that came up. You know, there's all kinds of rules. In fact, it might even be called the Martin rule because of Martin uh, Bick, who has driven a wedge into several tournaments in the past. So. <laughs> He knows about it. I'm not. I'm not telling him anything oh that I wouldn't tell him. We just called somebody face. out. I'm not. No, oh my I'm goodness. Not, you know. What is the ball count? It's. It's. I. He. I think he typed it in, but I think it's six to one right now. Ball count is. Uh, yes, yeah, six to six one. Six to one. That was a really good shot. Boy, I think I tell so. You. What can he hit? He can hit the two or the three. That's it. Yeah. Oh, they should not have. They should not come in and put this right now into the middle of this game. That should start after the next game, right? Well, you can't do yeah, that right in the middle. I mean, of the I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's possible. Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, no, gracious. you want. You know what? You're right about that because it changes the tactics. Uh, in fact, maybe they. Hold on a second. Did you just implement the rule on this game or on the next game? Uh, no, no, it, it's, it's starting like right now. Wow. I don't know about that because could you imagine if there were four balls in the head string or at least and they just the moved one down and it gave Wayne a dead shot into the, the whole uh, no yeah you can't I'm sorry but you cannot change a it's gotta uh, be between games yeah you cannot change all right well the rules in the middle no, of the game nobody's complaining about it except us right now so let's yeah just and I don't even play one pocket yeah. and you're streaming so yeah. What am I going to do? Get uh, I know. I'm getting all outraged over nothing. It's not my money. Who cares? They're all for Clint. <laughs> when am I coming back to House of Billiards? In Santa Monica? That's right. You go up to Sherman Oaks, too. Marshall, just so you know, I'm complaining about the injustice of it all. I mean, seriously. I know that there's, like, children starving in Africa. I'm not starving, but I still get upset about it. Um... <laughs> Possibly at Santa Monica. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that I'll be back down that way anytime soon. Um. <laughs> Aw, thank you. 
I do miss it down there. I miss my boys, my my crew that I used to hang out there with. I figured that's who it was, Keone. Keone, do I have do I have your number? Let me see. Hold on. Alright, so ball count still 6-1 here, and Jerry is looking at a shot to his corner pocket there, but almost certainly a sellout. The 11 and the 14 are not wired, and the one ball is blocking the three ball from having any potential. He's in a bit of trouble here. He's got a tempting shot here on the 15. And someone in the chat room suggesting to two rail the two. That'd be Marshall and on B. It's a possible shot, but I get no. If you're gonna sell out a ball, you might as well sell out big. So he's going for the easier shot. So he's oh oh he didn't get rewarded. He wanted to come under that ball, didn't he? Yeah, he did want to come under the ball, but you know what? He's grateful he just made a ball, and that's really... And didn't sell out. Yeah, and not sell out. But now he's got a bank on the nine, and that he can hold the cue ball for, so... Well, I think what he'll do here... He, you're right, he does want to bring balls to his side of the table, but he might play like a... He might go and bank the 13 and try to bring the cue ball right under the nine. No, he's not doing that. He's going to bank the one. The one ball goes. What did I say? The nine. I meant the one I ball. I mean the one ball. Yeah. Wow. We'll the just call that goes. the. We'll just call that the previous commentator curse. What I just did right there. I called the wrong ball. <laughs> well, that was a good shot. He's cool. Uh, the shot on the fifteen, though. Now that was that was a good shot. Sorry if I confused everybody. I I, I meant to say the one, and I said the nine ball. It's okay, Eddie. I mean. <laughs> oh, listen to you. Now that was uh, that was a good sacrifice. Can he In bank this three and run into the thirteen to push it up table so that he doesn't sell it out? Sorry. Is that what he's going to try and do? He's going to try and bank the three and maybe run the cue ball into the thirteen so he doesn't sell it out. Just like that. That's what I just said. I am getting. I'm a genius at this game. I've already got it. That's right. <laughs> I want I want nine six from you. Damn it! All right. And I guess Rich, Rich, you won? Yeah. Rich, uh, Rich beat uh, Jose Perica, so Rich goes on to play. Let me ask you something, Rich. Is that how you get a name like One Pocket Rich? By playing good One Pocket? <laughs> um, I'd like to say that. <laughs> He says it's having a new meaning later on. He's interesting. We'll have to I'll have to talk to him later as if he's not busy kicking everyone's ass here. But he had a scary first round match. Yeah, Melissa just asked him uh, how he got his name, you know. One pocket rich. And it was basically his answer was that he would just never play any other game than one pocket, so everybody just knew him as one pocket rich. And I thought it was just because he played, you know, yeah, so good. good. No, People ask me when I tell them, like, if they're not from California, and I say, uh, you don't know who One Pocket Rich is? And they go, no, does he play good One Pocket? And I said, his name is One Pocket Rich. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Oh, I'm like, my God. That's funny. So, and I can't he believe beats I Jose like Perico. So now uh, Rich is going to play Moto. Who's Moto? Larry. I don't know who that is. He's a player. He plays <laughs> at Hard Times. He worked for UPS for a long time, I think. Okay. And the Postal Service. and. Okay. So he know, tried he's, to he's no slouch. He's been Well, I guess not. Before. If he's, if he's uh, still in over here in top eight. Now, Jerry tried to <laughs> cut that ball in. And, and I, it's weird. I felt like Wayne had this game firmly in hand. But oh, it's yeah. funny how like one well, or two while shots can... you were talking can, to Rich... He, he actually made an almost a fatal error here. Um, I think that ball's going in the hole. Yeah. 
So now uh, Wayne needs one ball. One ball. And uh, we all know how many Jerry needs. Oh, that's not good speed. He kind of drugged that, dragged that cue ball a little bit too much. Yeah, he the, the was sliding too much, wasn't it? Lost a little bit of its speed. I was talking to Brooke about this, like one pocket rich nicknames like that. I said, uh, cause, cause, what did she say? There's somebody here. His name's starts with a J. So it's, it's like. Jane Jake, Burton. Jake, or something, and they James call him. Burton. No, but he's Japanese, but they call him Jake the Jap, or something like oh, that. Really? I, I was like, really, that's his nickname. <laughs> I was like, what if I got stuck with like Melissa the Mouth? That just that would not be a good nickname, I don't think. Melissa the Mouth. <laughs> the Mouth. Oh, the Mouth. Well, you know. Mike Siegel's got that taken. Oh, that's true. Good. Yeah. Well, I just got. I just had to create a nickname, actually. For who? Uh, well, sh shouldn't tell on myself like this. No, they're they're gonna they're gonna. Uh, did you see Steve Chaplin's request for for submissions for virtual pool four? Oh, okay. They're gonna put me on it. Oh, okay, cool. And, and I'm I'm Dan Daniel the Cannon Bush. The Cannon. <laughs> so. Just just because. Uh, just because? Just because I'm bald and I... Okay. And, uh... Actually, I, I broke the balls recently, and I broke a measle ball. <laughs> it broke into, like, three pieces. Oh. Speaking of which, hey, Edgar, where's my new measle ball? <laughs> All right, uh... Jerry taking a swing at this 13. Banked it short. Yeah, he's banking it short, but... Uh, no real loss in missing that shot. Santos already beginning his game with Oscar. Moto and One Pocket Rich are at it. Ernesto and Ross have probably been in this longer than anybody else. I think they started about the same time or just, just prior to uh, Jerry and Wayne here. So, yeah. But I know that they've finished a game or two already, so... Um, we shall see. And uh, shall Ernesto see. won the first game, right? He, those guys. he sure did. All right, see but I think Jerry, Ross might win this one. Jerry needed we'll to do that because he needs all of the balls. So he needed to break up those balls. Yeah, he yeah. didn't want them tied up. You know, makes sense to me. Generally, though, you would leave those there because you don't want your opponent to have like a combo or two balls that are easy to make. Mm -hmm. See, okay, this is the kind of thing. I guess with with the I've watched enough one pocket as much as I can. You know, stand it. That when the balls are down table and they're like kind of in that pack, I would kind of know what to do. Like the object is right. to move a ball kind of closer to your hole or put the behind the pack. I would not know what to do with this up table stuff. A lot of people don't know, and that's what makes a really good one pocket player. Is you know, this is one component of the game, sure. one part of the chess match that, that you know a lot of knowledge will go a long way. And. You know, there are a lot of a lot of okay. secrets to this game that no one will ever tell you. You have to learn. <laughs> and that's going to be a scratch. Oh, no, he was... No, he hit the 11. The 11. Yeah, yeah, he hit the 11. I saw him loaded up with inside right there, so I knew that that's what he was going to try and do. Yeah, Spanky making an observation. You know, Jerry's made a good, real good comeback in this game so far. You know, he was down 6 to... Uh, to zero, six, six to, to one, one. Yeah. and now it's. Uh, but he still needs all three balls. He still needs all three. The pressure's right. on him. Yeah, he needs all three. Yeah. Melissa, you mind me leaving you here just for a second? Oh sure. Okay. I can't promise how sparkling I've the conversation's going to be. I've got to order onion rings. Between myself and the uh, the chat room. No, I'm fine. I I had some French fries. 
Now you guys are going to hear like dead radio silence because I don't know what I'm talking about, especially in a game like this. Uh, Well, that's exactly what it is, Marshall. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, he made the ball, so I know Wayne doesn't really have an opportunity because these two balls are, are together here. But... Looks like Wayne's gonna... He's aiming to maybe bank the 13 here. No. Maybe the 11... Okay. Keone, he listened to you. He did not bring the ball down table. <laughs> well, I don't think he blocked it. I mean, Jerry has an open path to shoot the 13, but I don't, he's not going to really, I don't think he has an option to try and get the 13 close to his hole. So he's just going to roll it up there. Looks like he's going to almost make it. No, he's just going to leave it hanging there. I think Wayne can take a free fly at this too. That's what he's looking at. I don't think he's looking to play it off the 11 and you don't want to do that because the 11 ball would kind of move toward Jerry's half of the table. But he can take a free fly at this too. The cue ball is going to head right back up to where it's at. So I think he just wants to use good speed here. Overcut it. And I think he probably wanted to come farther up the table, but maybe not. Maybe he was trying to put it close to his hole and block him with the 11. I don't know. But I think Jerry is blocked on the two ball. He might be able to kick at it. Wayne's, Wayne's looking at me and I'm giving him the, I have no idea what's going on right now, look. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to stand up right now to see if he can hit the two ball. I don't think he can hit the two ball square, so I don't know that he can take it out. I could be wrong. We'll see right now. Oh yeah, he can. I was wrong. Sure. But now I think, I think he, yeah, Wayne's got a free bank at the 11. And he can control the cue ball to where if he misses, he's not going to sell out to Jerry. So. He made it. Oh, that's all he needed was that one ball. Hey! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So Jerry's going to rack now. And uh, this part I can announce. Jerry's going to rack. Wayne's going to break. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Daniel left me alone and it's it's awkward it's awkward but you guys are my friends so I'm okay with it right now my lack of one pocket knowledge is on display for all of you I found my calling one pocket and commentating I think not spanky I think not
somebody here tell me, is it typical for them to switch sides? Like he could have broke from the other side, uh, Jerry could have just now, so that he was still shooting at that hole like the hole that he had been shooting for the previous game, is it typical in, like, tournament situation for them to switch holes? Interesting. Okay. So Wayne's playing just a little touch shot here. He's just going to basically leave the balls exactly where they were at. And he's showing them that it is frozen to the rail now, so he did get a rail. <laughs> and Wayne turned around and gave me a little look like, ooh, he escaped with one. I think he hit it a little bit softer than he intended to. Oh, that seems like a nice shot to me. What's Jerry looking at here? Okay. So they're just going to keep putting balls behind the other balls here. Like it looks now like Wayne's going to hit the 9 or the 11 and put the cue ball right back behind the 10. They could play this game all day long. Well, Wayne hit that one pretty good. Got right up under the 10, so Jerry doesn't have that option anymore. the 12 ball back down table. And he has left Wayne a shot on the four. I don't think he's going to take it, though. What do you think, Daniel? Welcome back. What do I think? Well, So glad to have you back, by the way. That was awkward. You're asking me, like, pop quiz here. <laughs> well, if you don't know what to say, don't say anything. That's what, I, <laughs> that's what I've learned. Um, he is going to take the four. the four. Well, he's pretty confident with his shot making, and that was a good shot. Well, it's, you know, the payoff is greater. Uh, but the, the risk is if, you, if he misses it, look at all those balls on Jerry's side that he could have sold out. It's true. <sighs> that he didn't want to miss. But look, he gets lucky. Wow. Skidded. He kind of looked at us like maybe was, it skidded yeah, right there. he was doing a little fish movement with his hand there. Oh, man, I have a cup of coffee right now. Are you excited? <sighs> Hot streaming coffee. And everybody just heard that. Yep. <laughs> I want to just let you know, thanks for letting me take a break. I was, uh, I was consoling yeah. Ross. Oh, did he lose? Yeah, he lost 3-0 to Ernesto. Oh. So Ernesto Dominguez now is in the top uh, four. Mm. You were consoling him. Was he disconsolate? Was he upset? Yeah, he was upset, you know. He, he said that uh, he doesn't think Ernesto plays a lot of one pocket, but... I don't know. He I didn't say that. that. You're making fun of you're 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 making things up no, right now. He said he said Ernesto doesn't play one pocket much, so he kind of goes for crazy shots. Oh, 
but <laughs> Nesto plays a lot more one pocket than uh, than Ross reckons him for. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to say good night here, I think. Well, Lisa, thanks so much. I'm going to go um, we'll see console you in my July. I'll see you sooner anyway. Yeah. What about that straight pool qualifier? You, you, you got Is Ross going to I don't think that Ross has ever played a game of straight pool in his life. There's a straight pool qualifier, folks. Uh, At hard times, right? July 7th and 8th, yeah, uh, for the World Straight Pool right. event. They've got qualifiers going on uh, all over town, all over the country, actually, and uh, there will be one here in uh, Bellflower on July 7th and 8th. Um, but uh, nonetheless, um, I'll see you definitely before sometime in, Ju- in Ju- July 14th. So thanks for hanging out with me. Well, actually, I, I sent you an email. Uh, oh, you did? About the charity poker tournament I'm having next weekend. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. I might see Hopefully you for that. I'll if see you next I weekend. don't go to Ventura. Some guy I picked up. Thank you, Spanky. Uh, that's been my... Keone, that's been my boyfriend now for uh, close to six years. <laughs> Part of why you don't see me in Santa Monica anymore. Because... Uh, <laughs> because... Uh, yeah, that, that would just be a little awkward, right? <laughs> a little awkward. Me coming down, hanging around in Santa Monica with, with maybe an ex-person that I used to date. Ew. Right, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before you get into any more trouble <laughs> in, the ch- in the commentary here, uh, thanks again for keeping me company. No problem. Happy to do it. Love to do it. All and right, I, I'll talk to you guys all later. And by the way, better luck next time in the next pro event. Well, they, 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 there's another pro event for me. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Don't. It's always best not to decide until you know the invitation comes in the mail. It's true. All it's right. true. Thanks again. Bye. All right, Melissa Herndon, everybody. And uh, we're still we're still looking at this match. Jerry now is uh, at seven balls to one, and he wanted to get uh, a little higher so that he could shoot that 15 but now he's forced to play away and get the seven ball out of the pocket uh, but this uh, this match is moving right along Ooh, did Jerry leave a cut on the uh, 15 I do believe Wayne may take a swing at this ball count now is uh, 7-1 Wayne needs all of them. Two balls, a gimme. Uh, but how's he going to play it? He's going to he's going to try to swing two rails around. Oh, to get the one, but he rattles the two. And Jerry's almost certainly going to. bank at this. It's not going in. Uh, Jerry played a good cue ball there because um, Wayne can't uh, can't shoot that two ball out of the out of the range of Jerry's pocket. 
This is going to be tough for uh, Wayne to win this game. Good shot. Um, always keep it simple. That's what I've been told. <clears throat> Actually, though, the seven ball, um, if he can avoid the double kiss, seven ball's actually got a bigger pocket with the two ball down there. So he's looking at the bank, but he doesn't want a double kiss, which is almost certainly what he'll do. He'll have to play it with some spin or some speed, uh, and he doesn't want to. Make that cue ball fly around the table. He's going to go for the shot, though. Looks like, or he might three rail the 13, which is up there by the seven. He's looking at that as well. he could there to try to try to eliminate the uh, possibility of selling out a ball to uh, Jerry but Jerry's gonna make this it's gonna make it one game to one here and just like that we have a match guys and it's gonna be Wayne's break Race to three. Incidentally, guys, uh, I also have an online store now through Cafe Press. You can buy mugs, t-shirts, and let me see if I can find some images here. I've got bags, polo shirts, be sure to go to the POV Pool merchandise page on my website and it will send you to it'll send you a link to the uh, POV Pool store on Cafe Press there's uh, baseball caps, trucker hats, mugs, travel mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff. So if you guys feel like supporting POV Pool and POV Pool streams, get yourself a t-shirt or get yourself a hoodie or a messenger bag or something like that. IWC Nine Bola. I can't remember what your real name is, but uh, thank you for joining us in the chat room. <laughs>
right, Jerry's got his work cut out for him here. Uh, the eight ball is pretty close to the uh, to Wayne's corner pocket, so. He's trying to think of a way to get underneath that ball. And now he's looking at just knocking it all out. No. Put it right in there. That's how you deal with that. Well, Jerry wishes that 10 ball wasn't there. Otherwise, he would have some way to move the two away. But I still think he can thin the 12 ball at the top of the stack. He's just got to be careful not to scratch in the corner pocket. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to try to thin that ball and maybe leave the cue behind the uh, 7 and the 15 there. But he's real scared of doing that. Well, first of all, he doesn't want to give up a, 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 a scratch and give a ball up. So now it just looks like he is going to take a scratch and leave the ball in the pack. No rail. So he gives up a scratch. And that'll be minus one. Sorry about that, guys. Jerry's just going to thin the nine here, bring the cue, hopefully behind the, oh, he wanted to come, I thought he was going to go around the ball, he went underneath the ball instead, uh, but he's safe. Forced error there by Wayne. It changes things a little bit, but not too much. I don't think Jerry's going to swing at this 13 or the four ball. 
really not a lot of reward for him. It would be, uh, you know, probably just one ball. He already owes a ball. And if he misses, uh, it could be almost fatal. So he's he's going to just hit against the 14-1 there. Gradually bringing balls back to his side of the table. Manny Herrera, snap, bro. <laughs> Sorry you gotta leave. I hope you're well, man. We miss you over here at hard times, and uh, definitely would have been nice to see you here at uh, Sticks as well. Wishing you the best, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the seven out? I don't think so, bro. <laughs> Who told you that? Uh, see the thing about pool players they're always fishing <laughs> look at that shot wow that was a doozy. That is really going to hurt. play the music up if you want it's okay yeah it's fine just let you know you having fun good one man thank you I just ordered a little snack yeah yeah thanks Alex I appreciate it I'm glad I finally came here just talking to Alex right now the owner of sticks This is a great pool hall, guys. Definitely come by here. And and also, like, if if you come here with a date or something, <laughs> there's a live band playing right now outside the cafe right over here. And they're, they sound great. I'd love more coffee. Yeah. And they sound great. A live band. They're playing in the parking lot of the same venue that I'm in. And they sound really good. They sound kind of like Coldplay. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Huh? Um, uh, Alex getting me more coffee. Thank you. And uh, Alex and Didi, they're all, they're all great here. The, 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 uh, the, 
the pool hall itself is really a nice venue. Uh, there's like 20 uh, nine foot gold crown threes and fours here. There's a uh, the diamond table that you're looking at. And the air conditioning's been blasting all day. So nobody's sweating anything here except uh, the rail birds watching these matches. Definitely want to thank uh, Alex and also Joe Martin for putting this event on and adding a thousand dollars. It's really been uh, an honor to come here and you know represent Southern California and stream some of these great players who uh, we've been able to see today. Kind of a risky shot there for Wayne. I don't know. Left Jerry a shot on the 15, and he's probably going to stun over a little bit for the four ball. Might even draw back. He's coming for the four, and he misses. Good shot. Comes uh, comes down nicely for the three ball. They probably make this ball and then just play a bank on the fifteen. rattles a little bit and hangs ball count and the game count is up to date here it's one to one it's now going to be five zero ball count and Jerry now almost in a situation that he was in in the first game where he needed seven balls to Wayne's one ball. For those in the chat room wondering about this table, the diamond table does have a deeper shelf than than uh, than the than the Brunswick uh, the gold crown twos, threes, and fours. Actually, the threes and fours. So you can't just you know you've really got to be accurate when you when you. Uh, 
aim at these uh, pockets on the diamond. You will hang balls if you don't hit them correctly. A lot of times balls will rattle in, especially on a Brunswick gold crown, but uh, on, the, on the diamonds they, they kind of hang up there, they stay up there because the, the shelf is a little deeper on these tables. These are pretty tight pockets too. They are they are like uh, they look like four inch to me to tell you the truth. Somebody told me they were four and a half, but I think what it is is they're they're four and a half in the front, but they're like four and a quarter or four inches in the back. shot by Wayne. He can shoot, he can try to cut the seven, but uh, yeah, if he misses, it could be, it could be costly. He's looking to, to see, actually he's looking to see that if he does miss, and you know, playing the percentages are so important in this game. As I was saying, he was, uh, he was basically, you know, weighing the pros and cons of, of actually missing that shot. And from what he could tell, he might just be giving up one ball, which it looks like that's what he's doing. But Jerry can't afford to miss this. That's going to make it two to one. So moving right along over here. It's now Jerry's break. Sure, he's probably happy at least that he's breaking. Santos and Oscar still going at it. I'm not sure what the score is, but uh, the coins reflect. Two to zero. I don't know if that's accurate or not, and I don't know whose side that uh, would be on.
So they they just started a rule, guys, because hold on a second. I gotta do some data entry here. Okay, I'm back. So, as I was saying, uh, you know, about 20, 20 minutes, half an hour ago, they they announced that the uh, there's a rule in effect. Basically, if the if the matches are going too long, there's a rule that's uh, they've started. It's called the Martin Rule. I'm not going to get into that too much, but basically, if there are more than four balls in the kitchen. Uh, the, the one that's closest to the head string will be spotted. Uh, and that's because of a few matches here that went real long today. And so they hopefully want to get this place closed today by 2 a.m. But uh, the match between Larry and One Pocket Rich, uh, it was just observed by <laughs> it was just observed by Wayne Poland that um, <laughs> they had like ten balls in the kitchen. So <laughs> you know, it's not fair if uh, you know they're told uh, that they have to follow a rule, but then then they look over and they, they see a match going on with ten balls in the kitchen. Kind of makes you feel a little picked on Where's the cue ball going? In the drink.
<clears throat> All right, well, Wayne looking like he's making short work of this rack here. Uh, not good for Jerry. Wayne now wants to make this 13. He wants to glance off the two ball and hopefully uh, open himself up to make the seven ball. I mean the eight ball, which is underneath the six there, part of that cluster. Oh, no, he decides to play. I don't know. I think he was trying to, uh, I think he was trying to bump into those balls. Uh, but I think he, I think he mis misjudged the, uh, the tangent line there. So now Jerry, another chance at the table. And possibly a chance to do some damage, but it all depends on uh, how he addresses this 12. He is going to try to use the two ball as his opening. It goes and very efficiently makes the 13 that's in, uh, in Wayne's pocket as well. So Wayne goes to grab it. Very good shot there. Unfortunately for Jerry, um, there's been a bit of a cluster created at the bottom of the rail. Now Jerry could actually play this a couple different ways, but it looks like he's going to play for the 14. He could also play up table for the 9 ball. Uh, but why do that now when he can do it here? He wanted a little more angle here. To come up for the nine, but uh, but he's probably happy right now. He's he's got a chance to catch up and hopefully overtake Wayne. Ball count now is uh, four to five, and this will be Jerry's fifth ball right here that we're looking at. And, you know, those of you might be wondering, there, there's a 1-2 combo there, but I'm not really sure because the 13 or the 11 ball is hindering uh, that from happening. So it looks like he's putting follow on the ball, though. Okay, so I think from, from here, Jerry's probably going to just bump into the 8 and bring those balls a little closer, freeze the 1 ball under the no. Hey, Frank. Hey, great, man. Frank Almanza is going to be back here for a minute with us. And we got quite a match here. It's two to one right now, Wayne, but uh, Jerry just made a great comeback. It's now five balls each. So Jerry needs this game to stay in it make it a hill hill match and look Wayne's just made a horrible mistake well, it looks, it, I take it this is Jerry's pocket over here to our left yeah yeah Jerry, well, uh, but, you know, uh, Wayne's frustrated he's made a few errors that have cost him seriously there's 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 at least four balls out in the open here if, if yeah, he, he only needs three so. uh, well they're right there So, yeah, yeah I, I would only try to get on that one ball if the shot was comfortable. If not, I'd just go for it, go for for the eleven ball. Yeah, I agree. Just just stun and 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 just be happy that you, yeah. you're you're on the one, right? Yeah. What, 
about the 11? Yeah. Well, that, that's what I mean. 11, if there's too much trouble to get on the 1, I'll just get to the 11, just like what he did there. Okay, yeah. Looks like he has some nice high angle to get on the 1. Yeah, he does have a... He, he, you think he'll probably play for the 9, go up table? Or he'll no, play he'll back. play for the 1. That's good. Good speed. And this will do it. This will make it a hill-hill match. Well, he, he still needs to make it there. Well, looky here. Ventura in the house. <laughs> Frank, what happened with you and Ross? We went hill hill. Hold on a second. We got a timeout here for a second. Jerry's gonna Jerry's gonna go use the restroom. Take a five minute break. Yeah, Ross wore me down. We went hill hill to the last couple of balls. And uh, I, I was getting tired. I took a pot shot that I shouldn't have. <laughs> case, case two balls. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I played good. He beat him in like ten minutes. I, they were lagging the ball or flipping for the for the break, and and about ten fifteen minutes, I look over there, and the game, the match is over. I know. Ernesto's playing like like he like he fixes these tables. Well, he's playing like he's a little kid. <laughs> he's just running out. Yeah, I saw he was running out. Ross was uh, surprised. He was like, man, I can't believe he's going for the half shots he's making. <laughs> so, well, you came in the money, didn't you? No, and within one. But that's okay. I had a good time. Yeah, you played, you played three matches, right? Yeah, two. two. But I, I had a good time. I'm glad you came. You know, you came to the first match. match. <laughs> well, you know what? I live right nearby. That's right. You're up in, you're in Oakland. Right? I live uh, in my, I get in my car in five minutes, I'm home. So, so do, you, do you come here quite a lot? Yeah. I see you mostly uh, at hard times. Yeah, I, I come here because I've got a lot of friends in the area and I come out here mainly to, to socialize. And then my wife, she plays an APA league here on Friday nights. Uh, so uh, I come down here and, and practice while she's in the league. Well, this is, a, this is a great room. It's a nice room. It's got nice equipment. Good the tables are good and a bunch of bar tables. It's just a good place. Do you still uh, do you play here much? Do you get action here? No, you know, I don't do that much anymore. I have a table at home. If I practice, I practice there. But I've got a lot of guys come over, and we do one pocket over there, pretty regular. I got quite a few of them. That's good. You seem to be, you know, you seem to be doing all right. You, you come, you, you participate quite a lot with uh, the events that are happening. You were refereeing the the hard times step ball recently. Well, yeah, I enjoy the game. I enjoy being around, and I, I and the people associated with it. I just like the game. It's good. Most of my time now, it's not so much as far as the competition goes. It's more to pass on the experience and knowledge that I've gained throughout the years, and I like to pass it on to people. Let's see them get better. Yeah, Manny Herrera says hi, by the way, and uh, Amy Super. All right, well, look, you got a lot of good people in the chat room there. Uh, oh, well, you know, we got a lot of our, you know, SoCal regulars in the chat room. Right, you want a cup of coffee? Uh, ah. Uh, just, just cream, just a little cream. Thank you. Mike, Mike's a great guy. He's the house man here, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. He's a nice guy. Well, the whole staff here, everybody's nice. Yeah, everybody has been. I really want to thank. Uh, uh, you know, I've done it a, a bunch of times already, but I want to thank Mike and uh, Alex and his wife Dee Dee and uh, Joe Martin as well for Joe Martin. Yeah. Uh, he is a one pocket supporter all the way. Absolutely. Adds money to these tournaments and uh, goes around and, uh, and, you know, recruits a lot of the players for it. So now we're heel heel here, is that correct? Yeah, we are. This is 
a Hill Hill match, and uh, a good one it is, you know. And he's really checking the rack here. He's making sure, you know, it's his, it's, it's Wayne's break right now. And he's making sure, he's making real sure these balls are exactly the way he needs them to be. And we have two gentlemen playing this game. Both of these guys, nice guys. I've known them both for years. You'll never catch an argument out of each, any one of these guys. No, no. And they won't take any crap either. Oh, no. They, they'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll stand up for what's right. Oh, yeah. I remember watching Wayne play once at the Jay Swanson Memorial Tournament. And somebody, what his opponent was doing this move with the towel, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wayne just got up. No, hey, it's short. Yeah, there's, a certain, there's a certain point you got to say something. Yeah, you're in my line of sight. He's down on his shot. Thank you. Now, Jerry Machen here, the, the, the player that's shooting right now, he likes to tell the story of uh, when he was just a kid. He was a dishwasher in a bowling alley. Oh, yeah. And I used to play in there. And he used to come over and pick up pointers from me when I used to play. Now, this is going yeah, back. This, this is going way back into the uh, into the early 60s. Yeah, no kidding. Because, uh, you know, I haven't heard this, this story from Jerry yet. You know? We're not too, we haven't gotten to know each other really well. But he's commented with me a couple of times. Uh, Jerry has commentated with me a couple times, and and uh, I've never heard this story. So is that right? Yeah, you can ask him about it. He'll tell you. Well, he got that last little kiss that pushed the ball in the hole. It looks like he's maybe now has a free shot on the uh, eleven ball. You like the eleven and not the eight? Well, see the eight ball. It, 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 there's, I don't know. I He's guess if it's simple DA. enough to make it, the lemon ball gives him a lot more balls, I believe. Oh, just that, okay, that was a nice shot. Ball. I don't know if he has, if he's got enough angle here, or if it's straight enough where he can shape up the nine ball and kind of draw the ball over to the uh, stripe ball. But he's not keying, he's not queuing low, so no, that's not what he's gonna do. Well, this is you know this is to be expected from this game, you know Wayne's break, and you know Jerry Jerry pretty much expected he would be climbing uphill in this game. So. Yeah, I think Jerry is. I don't think he has a shot on the uh, one ball, so... No, he's, he's... He's in a bit of a trouble here. And it's hard to use the five ball, because if you hit it wrong, you leave the five right in the pocket, because at the angle he's at, you see the five at the top yeah. of the stack. Yeah, what do you do here, huh? Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> What's that? Well, they they implemented the rule about having more than four balls. Right. Yes. Kitchen. And earlier, Rich and and Larry had ten balls in the kitchen. In this match that they're in right yeah, now. In this match that they're in right now. I see they've got so, a lot so of them behind the line right now. And, and told Alex and Mike about it. Uh, so Wayne just turned around and, to look at me again and tell me that there were five balls in the kitchen. Truth be told, I can't really do anything about it. I'm not refereeing or anything. I can only pass the word along. No, you're right, and it's up to the uh, tournament director to keep uh, uh, abreast on these things, yeah. Jerry's in a bit of a trouble. I wonder if he should just t kick at it the long rail. It's a, a kind of a tough kick because it, above it, the side, yeah. it, it, because of the, the the angle is so wide. Yeah. If on a steeper angle, you can gauge it much better. No, it's an easy miss. He's, he's 
frustrated, you know, because you at least want a chance to win this game. Well, yeah. Hill Hill, you know, this is case game. Well, what's what's uh, what's the score here? Two two zero. Yeah, it's two zero. I mean, there's still a long there's, way. There's still a long ways to go, but you can almost say it's uh, three zero because that one ball was right. Worth. right. Is he is he going to try? He may go into the stack with the with this here with the cue ball, it's real gently. Oh, he opened up more balls. Now, what do you think he was trying to accomplish there? I think he was trying to make the ball. Off the 15? Yeah, I think that's what he was trying to do. But uh, he opened, he loosened up more balls. And uh, No, I think he, I think he, well, okay. He might have been trying to put the cue ball in the other side of the stack. That was possible, but I, not the way he hit it, though. I don't think that that's, that's what he was trying to do. Yeah, that's true. You might be right there. The hit would have to have been much more gentle. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wow. I just got uh, news that Alex Pagalayan ran a break of 134 points in snooker at the Alberta Snooker Championships, the Canadian Snooker Championships. Alex Pagalayan's up there in Canada. Wow. He ran a 134. Or a 137, actually. Good work for Alex, playing snooker again. Uh, he plays everything well. <laughs> right, I've, just, I've seen him play cards too. All right, so Wayne hasn't come back far enough for the six ball, but he is looking at a uh, combination twelve five here, and I think it goes. Well, he might be making a 13 ball and come back and hit the 15 with the cue ball. If he has enough angle to do that, if not, then maybe he'll just play the 13 and then just slide in the other side of the 15. But Want to welcome Mark GW to the chat room is watching from Switzerland. Oh. It's pretty cool. Also got uh, fans in Hesperia and Modesto, California watching. And probably all the East Coasters are asleep by now. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them to be asleep, but... Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe they might be... At, in well, you know how pool players are. <laughs> this is probably just a just early, the morning, wake up. early morning hour for them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Jerry's getting a little desperate here. Yeah, he really is. He really is. Uh, it didn't turn out too bad, though. I don't think Wayne will take a shot at that 13 ball because thing. he's up, up on points. What do uh, they say? When you're ahead, when you're when you're down, play like a. Uh, like, like a lamb. <laughs> yeah, when you're up, play like a lamb. Uh, he's going to play soft. Wow, that was a good oh, shot. shot. <clears throat> he played the cue ball so that, you know, yeah. Jerry would be either back cutting. And if he's, if he's going to run into the 15 after he bangs his ball, it's a good shot. And that's going down. That's gonna do it. Wow. Eight, eight balls. Eight, that's eight, it. Eight, eight zero, zero in the last game. Well, you know, like I said, you know, Jerry at least wanted a chance to win this game. But I don't know what that shot was. That one shot that he. Jerry, what were you? What were you trying to do on that shot? Were you trying to leave the ball under the pack, or? I was trying to back cut it. That's I had no other. Yeah. Shot. It, yeah, it looked like yeah. You'd have to kick with speed and hope that cue ball gets out of the area. When you were and then to, and then that kick is not a guarantee because the angle is so wide. He's got a, he's got a dead 
when yeah. his five was in the pocket, you were trying to. Yeah, he was trying to make the ball. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I didn't have anything else. Yeah. No. All right. Well, that's. Uh, yeah. I thought maybe you could have. Double him up on the uh, on the combination, and maybe his front ball would would squirt out, and I'd give him another ball. Uh, the only other thing maybe I could have done was uh, I tried to pass a, but I was forced on the rail. He almost scratched. Yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. It's going to be three games to two. Case game uh, against uh, Jerry Matchin. Wayne Pullen takes it, and he advances to the top four. And I believe. Is he going to be the one playing Ernesto? No, because Ernesto's at the bottom of the bracket. So I believe Wayne plays. Yeah, you didn't have any opportunity in that last game there. The winner is probably going to play. Uh, I mean, Wayne Pullen is probably waiting to play the winner of Santos and Oscar or the winner of. Uh, I think it's the winner of Rich and uh, Larry. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to have another match real soon. And it's probably going to be the last two matches of the night. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching POV Pool. And hang in there. We're going to have another match real soon.